Hey, Jeffy, how are you? I'm good, Ed. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Look, everybody, the pool guy is coming. The dogs are going ballistic. You're just going to have to deal with it. You're just going to have to deal with it. So it's we're just rolling. And today we are talking about business plans. Yes. Business plans. <laughs> business yes. plans. Oh, my gosh. I have a love-hate with them. Like I love the that. idea. Well, Let's I love it. the idea of planning all my big rocks, like my vacations and, you know, stuff like that. And then the hate part, which is I don't really like that word. I'll use not my favorite is, you know, the minutia of it. I'm way more global than I am like down into the details. So business plans are not an easy thing for me to do, but I still do them. Yep. I think yep. they're super important. And I think a lot of agents, uh, you know, it's like, it's December and the broker in charge comes around, whoever's running the show and says, Hey, everybody, it's time to do your business plans. And you can hear this collective groan. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's, you know, that's, that's really a lost opportunity. And we're going to go through kind of the elements of what makes a great business plan and how you can really make it to drive your business and, and your life, which is the, Absolutely. are those big rocks. So, um, I think you're going to ask me some questions and we're going to have yeah. a little banter back and forth because we have some different approaches. So this is like live fire folks on how to do, how to do a good business plan. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Elements of a great business plan. Why don't you oh. give me a couple of your elements? Okay. Well, first of all, I think it needs to be simple. I think people okay. can get wrapped around the axle and making them too complicated. I shoot for my business plan to be no more than two pages. That's and I good. actually, yeah, I, I'm real succinct on it. And I, what I do is I also include a, a, uh, a wrap up of the, of the year. So like when I do my 2023, I do a quick, I have a little table like snapshot of what 2022 was all about. Okay. Hold um, please. What do you yeah. put in the wrap up? Ooh, now you're asking for details. Number of transactions. Okay. Um, total, total volume, total okay. you know, income in, um, okay. things that went well and things that need mm -hmm. improvement. Yeah, I think it's really important to get into the weeds there a little bit because a lot of times, well, even for me, I've been doing this forever, uh, I don't think about doing that. So it's nice to know that. So you do a recap of 22 and then you create 23. Right, right. So okay, I do a recap good. of 2022 and then I go into my, what's my goal for 2023? Sure. Clearly stated. And then okay. how I'm going to get to those goals. Okay, so I'm going to chime in here. <laughs> Do it. This is where I say, I really like it to be simple, man. I really like my business plan to be simple. But then okay. I have this massive Google spreadsheet, January through December. I'm going to take this time off and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to create this Popeye and I'm going to la, 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 la. And then by month three, I'm like, God, I can't do all this. Yeah. So I think I have really great ideas for my business plan, but then it gets too much. So my goal this year is also to make it more simple. Yeah. So make it okay. simple. So that's number one. I think number two, make it activity based. I think oh, that when I when I switched agree. to that, it made it a lot easier and a lot more effective. Yep. And so, mm -hmm. and the key activities, if you've been listening to this for a while, you know, it's calls, notes, and pop buys, the Buffini method, yep. right? So how many, right. how many face to face interactions or voice to voice interactions do you need for the year to make mm -hmm. your number? And so you need right. to know how many contacts you need for a referral and how mm -hmm. many referrals to make a transaction happen. Okay. So just to, just to lay this out. So I know you have your numbers. I have mine. So if I make eight calls and I consistently ask on all eight of those calls for referral, I will get one referral from those eight calls. Mm -hmm. It takes two referrals. So that's 16 calls. For me to get a transaction. Now, obviously, that's a that's an average. But if somebody isn't using Buffini, which you should be if you're not, because this is probably one of the most important times and seasons of our business to be in uh, with Buffini coaching. But if they're not, how would you have them track that? Would you just have them like do it on a piece of paper? Would you have them do it on a spreadsheet? 
because it's an important number to know. Yeah. I think you need to track your calls. And so, yeah. you know, you just, you know, ideally you would have uh, a CRM that, right. uh, that tracks that. But if you don't have that, then you can just do it on a spreadsheet, but track the number of calls and then the number of referrals that you, that you get. Gotcha. And, um, you know, I, my numbers are very similar. You know, I, I yeah. you know, it's around eight, eight to one and two to one. I usually, mm -hmm. when I'm planning, I fudge up a little bit. So I, I like to plan around 20, uh, okay. 20 calls to a deal, you know, just to, okay. just to, just to be conservative. Yeah. Um, so when we're talking about activity based, which is totally how my business plan looks this year is instead of saying, I'm going to, to make this much income, or I'm going to serve this many families. I'm saying, I'm going to call this many people. I'm going to touch this many people because I know in the big picture, that's what has equaled those transactions. But to have it something super tangible, like I can sit around all day and go, I want to do a hundred deals this year. Well, okay. <laughs> what are you going to do to get there? So the tangible right. thing is the calling or the seeing, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what okay. I do is I say, okay, what's the transaction goal, number of transactions. Yep. And yep. then based on that, how many calls do I need to make or, or, you know, voice to voice or face to face contacts do I need? And then I back it down to a daily number. So I know if I do five a day, I'm more than good. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, okay, so you, the next thing you have on here is strategic initiatives. Is that what we were just talking about? No, I think I think you okay. want to put. So you know, you you put in again. You've got you want to keep it simple. You want to keep it activity based, so you know the number of people you need to call, and then the things that you need to do to to drive those calls. For us, we like doing events, so it, you know we have a right. lot of events. So you kind of build that action plan around it. Okay. By strategic initiatives, like what are the particular skills you want to build throughout mm. the year? Um, what additional marketing do you want to do? Um, mm. You know, what kind of networks do you want to build? So for me, just to give, give you an example, in 2021, I really wanted to improve my negotiation skills. That was a line item. So then I took okay. a negotiations course. That's and right. And did that for Never a full year. Never split the difference. That's right. And so uh -huh. that was a way I was like, okay, that's a goal. And then where do we go from there, right? So okay. Was, and then I'd say in 2022, we both had a goal of doing a podcast. And so- That's right. That's, now here we are. So That's right. Have you that's thought good. about what strategic initiatives you might have in 2023? You know, something I have not. So we'll have to- recircle back on that one because I have some some big fat hairy goals but I don't have those strategic initiatives or maybe I do and I just haven't written them out you haven't, yet you haven't I'll thought have to, it through yeah I'll well I, I can on give that. one I mean for okay, for please. me I you know I a strategic initiative is to really build out my agent referral network oh yeah well I'm doing right. that so maybe that's part of so maybe that here maybe we go. I just we're need business. To write that down. We're business planning <laughs> right now. So that that so if that's something you want to do, you put it on the 2023. It's like, hey, I really want to build this out. And mm -hmm. for me specifically, I want to I want to have close relationships with agents around the country that I can outbound referral to. I know I love getting inbound right. referrals as well, but I want to make sure that if I say, oh, you've got a family member in. Dallas, I've got a great person in Dallas, but it's personally right. vetted. So that's going to be a strategic initiative of mine this year. I love that. I think that even if I could take that one step further, I would love for my business agent partners from around the country to call me and say, hey, do you have a good person for Texas? Because I have been vetting these amazing agents. So I would love to be the point of contact that can can actually send out referrals, which is what, but I love that. Just like you love it. It feels good. Oh, uh, it feels great. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's. I have, I have to do a shout out to Megan Farrell. Megan Farrell is in uh, Los Angeles area. And she, I was just looking today. She's given me three referrals in the last two years, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot when you don't live in San Diego to send another agent three referrals. And she's just a, she's just a little star baby. So if you need anybody in the LA area, Megan Farrell is your girl. That's 
Awesome. See, there, there, there we go right there. So that's going to be a big focus of mine. <laughs> um, so I think uh, next, it, it just everything needs to be measurable. So, yes. you know, when, when you're going through this, it's activity ba- based measuring what's happening mm-hmm. and then your strategic initiatives, you know, making sure you've got deadlines on when these things are going to happen, what mm. you're going to, you know, what are the measurable activities that I'll be doing, for example, I'm building out this referral network and then just kind of transferring right. it to that. Right. And, and I think I need, we need to remind, well, I need to remind myself of this just as much as we need to re- remind our listeners is one small step in the right direction is still a step. You don't have to build, you know, Rome in a day. So you're just, you're, you're doing it one little step at a time. If you have an idea of something that you want to do, lay out a plan maybe for the first 30 days. That's just, if you've never called people before, call two people a day. If you Then the next month, call three. And the next month, call four. But don't bog yourself down so much that you can't reach the goal. And I think that's what happens is we all kind of get overzealous in December, November and December about what it is we want to do the following year. But if you keep it smaller, I think you'll attain more. Yeah. Do you agree? I totally agree with that. And I think that helps you take advantage of momentum. Yes. Um, And I find... For me, it's like take take that goal and then try and break it down into its smallest part of like, okay, what do I need to do each day? Because if I think about, oh, I've got to make a thousand calls this year, mm-hmm. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> oh god, I can't, you know. Whoa. But if it's like, yeah. well, that's five a day, right? right. So, I, yeah, it's easy to make five calls a day. It's hard to make a thousand calls in the last month of the year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, right? Exactly. As I look to the left and look at all the notes piling up over there that I need to mail out. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that's another story. Um, what would you say, would you mix in your personal and your professional goals together in your, in your 23 plan? Do you, I do that. Do you do that? I 100% do that. Okay, um, and good. I think, you know, we're talking about it last, but it's kind of what you need to address first. In yeah. my opinion, I'm doing a business plan. It's like, what's really driving you? What's, yeah. what's the thing that you really want to do that big rock that you want to get in or to uh-huh. use your, your term, that big, fat, hairy goal. It's kind of right. scary. Something yep. that's usually outside of business. Other, you know, it's yep. like you want, you want this life achievement and you get that in first. Mm-hmm. And then you work backwards from that and say, okay, yeah. what do I, you know, and, and then you've got those things working on. Um, and I know you're a big fan of that. I'm a huge fan of that. Do you want to share some stuff that you're thinking about for 2023 on that? Well, for, um, for 23, I have committed to doing my uh, challenged athletes bike ride again, which is the 620 miles down the coast. I just completed that ride. And my goal next year is to be stronger and faster than I was this year so that I can uh, at least keep my eyeballs open through dinner. (laughs) I was so tired. Cody would look at me, my head's bobbing at the dinner table. (laughs) You're like falling asleep in your soup. Not a good look. Exactly. And another big one is, and I've been talking about this for years, so this is it's really important to me and I, I need to make the small moves is I, I love anything that has to do with sustainability. Okay. So recyclable bags, planting a tree, composting, um, eating a plant-based diet, those type of things. So I want to somehow tie that into the gifts that I'm giving when I'm closing escrow with people. I'm mm. not trying to convert people. I'm just trying to show people that there is a different way of doing things. That's a little bit, it's easy. You just might not have your eyeballs open to it. So that will fill my heart up as well as doing something kind for my clients. So I really, that's kind of one of my big fat hairy goals because I talk about it so much and just don't do it. So it's, it's time. That's well, it's time to write it down. And I think those are really, yep. you know, so here's, here's, you know, live fire, like, Okay, one of your Popeyes could be around that. And then you yeah. bring those elements into your closing gift. And once exactly. you kind of get that little thing, you're not being preachy about it. You're just like, hey, here's something. Yeah. You know, yeah. Boom, hey, done. Noodle on this, buddy. That's Noodle right. on this. That's right. And then show the path. 
That those are and great. You have, yeah, you have a big one coming up for twenty three as well. You want to talk about that? I do. Yeah. So one of the, one of the biggies. Um, I'm going to do a bike packing trip in July with some of my cycling buddies, and we're going to go from Missoula, Montana, to Banff, Canada. It's about five hundred miles, and it's off road, so it's mm. on cow cow roads and out in the back country. <laughs> Um, it's going to be, it, oh yeah, there's, there's one section that we can take that's called the Grizzly Highway. Oh God. <laughs> and, Great. And I'm Please don't get eaten. The, I really need you for this podcast. I don't think people right. would listen to it as much as if you weren't on it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. But, uh, <laughs> but we're, uh, we're laying that out and uh, we've got about six guys, six or seven guys that have committed and uh, it'll great. be a great training goal and be out in nature. And uh, I love this. And, it, and it's funny how the uh, the genesis of it was we were sitting around having beers. And I'm like, guys, I've heard these stories, these adventure stories over and over. We need, a, we need new material. We got to get out on oh, the road. That so, is so funny. Yeah. That is so, so funny. Hey, tying that back into work really quick in your business plan. So what mm-hmm. month are you doing that? July. July. Okay. So – you have a ju- big July trip. I have a big October trip. When you take those big rocks and put it into your business plan, you can work backwards from there. So you're gone in July. So starting in May, you'll be working your clients and then you're going to be able to have somebody ready to pass them off to at the end of June and introductions. And what happens with that business plan and those big rocks is that it allows you to be more intentional. And that that is one of the things I love about a business plan. Yeah. You can be intentional and it's this motivation to kind of drive the right behavior, right? Because exactly. I mean, you, you exactly. always get so much more done right before you head out on something like that. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> want to get busy? Plan a trip. That's right. All right. Well, in that, do we have anything else we want to talk about or we want to wrap this baby up? I think we're ready to wrap it. I think, again, you know, just the key elements, just to kind of summarize, keep it simple. You know, yep. don't. Don't like, you know, make it so complicated that, you know, you, neither you nor your broker can you know, figure <laughs> out what you're trying to do. Make it activity based, right? So really yeah. drive to like the daily activities on what you need to do. Um, include some strategic initiatives, things that you're really interested in trying to do in your business and build your skills. Um, a great one would be to master your local market data. Throw that out as an idea, mm. you know. You know, Love just that. think about things like that. Develop a farm area, you know, just mm-hmm. just things that aren't relating to uh, the the individual activity of the day, but moving you forward. And then connect it with that big, big goal that drives you. I love it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well wrapped up, Mister Billings. Well, thank you, and I'm looking forward to working on my business plan. And we're Me welcome too. any ideas that we get along the way. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Look forward to hearing your comments and your thumbs up. Give us a share and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.